What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Insolent Audits. Let's get straight into it. Okay. Got a question. Uh-oh. Just came across something that uh, really kind of, I guess, struck a nerve You're with me. So I've got a question for all you men out there. Okay. So what I came across was something that said that, you know, this lady was 60 years old Ooh. and... Damn. was going out on a date with a 67-year-old, okay, and um, but he didn't want to commit Duh. to anything. She's old. And so, I'm thinking I'm going to be single till the day I die. You will be. Oh, Lord, I hope not. You will. But, um, what what's up with that? Why doesn't anybody want Here's what's up with that. You're old. Shots fired! Shots fired! And they don't want to commit to women like you. Because you're old. Why would a 67-year-old man commit to a 6-year-old woman when he could go out there and possibly find a 40-year-old woman or a 45-year-old woman? Don't you think that if you are attracted to this 67-year-old man and he is high enough on your standard list, because let's be honest, as women age, their standards get higher. If he's willing or if he's able to hit those standards, don't you think that he's able to hit uh, another woman's standards as well? Don't you think that's possible? Oh, yeah, it is. And so he would rather go out there and get him a 40-something-year-old and actually marry her. Maybe he's just going out there and just turning the block with you. You know what I'm saying? He's just going out there and blowing your little back out, your little granny back out. And maybe he's just going to keep it pushing. So he's probably not looking to marry. And, and also, and also, this lady might not have been marriage material. She might have had a horrible, horrible personality. You ladies think that just based on age, men are choosing you. No, there's a lot of other things that they go into it. Like I've always said, your looks get you a ticket to the dance. But your personality gets you a date afterwards. Commit anymore. Is it just because of past relationships and being hurt? Oh, I love it. And you're just afraid you're going to get hurt again? I love and it. And it's just better to be alone or date Shame. or be, just be non-committal? What's, yeah. what's the deal? I need some answers because this is kind of scary. Because I want to be married again. I want to spend Oof. what I have left of my life. It's going to sink, Captain. Ugh, honey, I, I don't think I don't think you're gonna be married again. Like I'm gonna keep it a bucket. It's sixty years old, and you probably divorced your first husband. Like I just don't know if it's gonna happen for you. I'm done dating. I'm done dating. Good. You cannot date in your fifties. Good. Okay. And if y'all are still dating in your sixties, like, what does that even look like? Okay. Because like, who has time really to date? Right. I mean, you both you're got feminist. You got to work all the time. Feminism is expensive. Being alone is expensive jobs you know you got your hobbies things you and do. she looks like a nurse or somebody in the the social work or health care like avoid them bro avoid them on the side you know it's like where do you fit in another human being okay and then Return like cats. you you have to share you know and like you've been like nobody wants to share you know because we're we're, we're honey we're... you're so old you better be sharing that coochie with everybody better be dangling at strings. You better be swinging from penis vines trying to get one man to take you serious. Girl, you 50. The, the clock is ticking. Set in our ways. We've been doing things our way, you know, and... That's a problem, though. I don't want to change my ways. Of course you don't. You know, I don't want to share my couch with anybody else. I don't want to share my bed with anybody else. I don't want to share my toilet with anybody else. Well, lucky for you, you don't have to. Stupid. That's why you're alone. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know how to date. I don't know how to date if you can't see him. And you ain't got time to talk to him because you're at work. Okay. Oh, and then it costs too much money. Okay. Because it ain't like the guy pays for everything. Okay. Because you're not worth us paying for everything. Why would I be paying for everything when you're in your late 50s? That, that... That story's are already done and gone, honey. We're at the end of the story here. I, I got none of your fruitful, useful years. Why would I pay for everything? You out of your mind? So you got to pay your part, too. It's expensive. Who wants to date? Who? It costs money to date. And then I got to share my stuff. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Oh, my multi-dick is post Queen. You said something. <laughs> Lady, it's a wrap for you. These older ladies, man, you, I, hope you, I hope you ladies have money because it's going to get expensive out there because these older guys aren't, you know, like, we're not, they're not going to be going for all that. They're not going to be going for none of that, bro. Absolutely none of that. Moving on. I love seeing all the men on social media talk about gold diggers because, frankly, there is no better way to see, uh, number one, who doesn't have any actual gold? 
to dig? And number two, uh, who are the men that completely lack any financial... Tell me you're a bitter old woman without telling me you're a bitter old woman. Shots fired! Shots fired! Somebody come get their aunt. Sophistication, yeah? Because <laughs> men who have a lot of money don't give a single rip about how much they are going to spend on a woman or anything else. They just love that they have all of that cash to splash and men who have a lot of money earn it so that they can have nicer things. Lots of them. And on that list- Honey, ain't nobody trying to splash no cash on that ass. It's curdled. Would be women. Yeah, that's why certain cars are called kitty cat magnets, right? Now, men who have a lot of money know that- This woman sound like she read one too many 17 magazines. Kitty cat magnets. <laughs> Honey, nobody's saying that. It's a pussy magnet. <laughs> they know how to protect their assets through a myriad of legal avenues. They know all the tricks, all the loopholes. They have accountants and lawyers at the, their disposal. They square that stuff away and move on to enjoy the fruits of their labor. And they want to enjoy those fruits with a lady by their side that looks the part. They delight in yes. the opportunity to buy her clothes, uh, take her on the fancy vacations, the bags, the diamonds, the cars, whatever she Keyword, wants. Keyword, you gotta be worth it though. Like, we're not taking older women out to do that. You better be splitting that stuff 50-50. And the thing is, we're in our soft guy era. We're in our soft guy era, drizzle, drizzle. What makes you think I want to go spend all my hard earned money on your ass? Boy, you must, you must be stupid. We ain't doing all that. They actually want it more than she does because they want everyone to look at her and know that he has a fat wallet. Before I rip into this video, any Bro, what is she even talking about? These older ladies be so delulu. I don't know if she's more delulu than the younger women, but good Lord have mercy. That was brutal to watch. I feel bad for her. It that I portray that I'm unapproachable in this particular video and better than others. And I will tell you, I do not think I'm better than others, but I do know my worth. Oh, I didn't create it's boundaries. It's always that. It's always that. I don't think I'm better than anybody, but I know my worth and my worth is more than other people. Like, honey, <sighs> if oxymoron had a face, this is what they would look like. <laughs> is really what it's about. So if I'm unapproachable to somebody, that's actually good news because we don't have the same energy and we're not going to align. Yeah, I'm done with the nonsense and the small talk. It's an honor to be a part of me. That doesn't make me better than someone. That just means I recognize my worth and I value my space and my time. I just love it so much. It's always these women that are dead ass alone talking about, I honor my space. I honor my time. Keep honoring it. Why don't you, why don't you wish in one hand and honor your time in the other and see which one fills up faster. <laughs> You're just going to have nothing in your hands. <laughs> I value my space and my time. This is why you're alone. You've honored your space. You've honored your time so long. And now you're solo dolo Hans, Hans Rolo. Nobody's coming for you, honey. You honor your time so much and you think you're so valuable. This is the problem with these older women. They honor their time so much and they think they're, they think their value is so high that they're above small talk. Honey, who are you? You're 50. Your face is sunken in. Your hands are veiny. What are you talking about, honor your time? You better be trying to give that time up to everybody possible. Shots fired! Shots fired! You better be trying to give your time up to everybody. Every man, you better be giving him attention. Because your value is so low in the, in the sexual marketplace, in the dating market, your value is so low that you should be honored that a man is giving you his time. You should be you should be handing that time out like like free samples at the mall. You should be trying to pass them suckers out. I'm at a point in my life, honestly, I don't want to waste my time anymore with anybody who doesn't value me. The Stupid. people I spend time with need to have a higher vibration and excitement and vigor about life she because I do. I can't be in the presence of somebody who's low energy and whose motivation isn't to be the very best version of themselves. And if that means, I got an eyelash falling out here. If that means that someone like you or someone else is viewing me as somebody who thinks they're better than others, that is okay with me because our energies don't align. 
But I will say... Bro, the mental gymnastics. Lady, if you just shut your mouth... <laughs> <laughs> it could make a man feel wanted and needed. You'd be so good. You'd be so good, bro. It's not actual. It could you imagine going out on a date with her and she's just talking all this crap? I'd be like, yeah, check, please. I'm out. Means I know my worth, and there is so much power in that. Oh, brother, let me get this. There's so much power in that that you're dead ass alone. Stupid. Come on, dude. You can't make this stuff up. It's like they find this stuff, like this rubric of how to be a sad, lonely, older woman. And they're all like, all right, girls, uh, pass, pass the rubric around. Make sure everybody gets a read. <laughs> I want to know how do people in their 50s like me continue to date? You I don't. had a real connection or so I thought with this person. We dated for a month and this guy was great. Good morning text, good night text, every night text, every freaking day for... 30 days, almost exactly 30 days. Last weekend, he ended up getting sick and we called the date short. Since then, I get maybe a sentence here and there. No good nights, no good morning. I know you're, I know he's sick, okay, I get that, I get that. Today I text my- I love it so much. This is why I say women grow old, but they never grow up. Good night text, good morning text. What are we in seventh grade? Stupid. Why are you worried about this stuff? You're 50. You have a mortgage. You have a car note. You have bills to pay. You're worried about a good morning text? What? Grow up. Good Lord. This lady's over here crying like she's in the seventh grade. John didn't write me a note today and then he didn't text me. Good morning, he usually does. Stop. 50 years old crying about this stuff. Are you kidding me? Again, in sidebar, I am a way overthinker. Yeah, no kidding, she is an overthinker. Yeah, most women are too, and that's the thing. Most women are extreme overthinkers. Extreme overthinkers. Let's get back into this lady real quick. Here we go. A low priority very quickly. <laughs> yeah, boy. I overthink a lot. Shocker. And I'm really insecure. Not really, but you know. It's I'm really insecure, not really. What is it? What is, which one? Are you insecure or are you not secure? Which one? I'm really insecure, like everybody else would be. Anyway, anywho. Um, Good Lord. This is somebody's, yeah. this is somebody's aunt. Might be he's somebody's mom. He's not like available like he was. He's not wanting to text or talk. And I had actually stopped myself from trying to being happy. And um, then I was convinced, you know, just go with it, enjoy it, be happy. And then I did. And now here I am. Alone. Almost 54. Ooh. Damn. 54? That's old, baby girl. 54? Older than, uh, old as my aunts. Somebody, somebody get somebody. Somebody come around here and get your aunt. He's not wanting to text or talk. And I had actually stopped myself from trying to being happy. And um, then I was convinced, you know, just go with it, enjoy it, be happy. She belongs to the street. And then I did. And now here I am. Alone. Almost 54. And still alone. And single. Perfect. If you're insecure, like most single multi dickies post war queen, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, dude. You can't make this stuff up. These older women be bitter. And do you guys see a lot of correlations between these older women and these younger women? Because personally, I do. I'm like, I'm seeing these older women act the same as these younger chicks. They're acting the exact same. This is why these women just grow old. They don't grow up. Moving on. This message is for men over 40 and you know what? Men over 30 even. Y'all are looking toe up on the dating apps. As Stupid. women make more and more money and we're not forced to be with someone for economic stability, guess what? We're going to be going for attraction. We're going to go for good. We're going to go for romance. All these things that we couldn't go for because we had to prioritize financial stability for the future of our children and to have a roof over. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Are you a... Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. You 
please. It's giving single mother. I could be wrong. Heads. We couldn't have our own credit cards 30 years ago. And while we were making ourselves look as desirable as possible, going under the knife, butchering ourselves. Bro, to ain't nobody asked y'all to do all that. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody asked y'all to do all that. I have, I have an acronym I came up. I'm going to, I'm going to do it after this little clip of what a king is and what a queen is. So stick around. Good for you guys. You guys better be going in to get Botox, we don't get ask that, for that filler, we don't ask fly to Turkey, get we, that hair transplant, we don't ask go for to that. the gym, that, get yes. that facelift. We didn't ask for that. Y'all are just sitting there about how you can't get a girl to swipe right on you. But what are you doing about your appearance? We don't. And it doesn't matter as much as y'all. That's 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 your job, baby boo. You are the one that needs to look good. We are the one that needs to provide and protect. Where does it say that we need to look really good? It doesn't say that anywhere. This is why beat men can get baddies because they got bags. Your dicks aren't working because all you do is watch. Porn. Please step up and do better. Shame, yes, insult, up. guilt that need to be right. You, 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 you just have to love it. Please step up. A single woman, please step up and just do better. Do better for who? Women like you? Baby girl, ain't nobody, ain't nobody looking for you. There's more. Some dating advice for my ladies who are over 40. I actually suggest that you lie about your age on the apps um, and get under the 40 threshold because a lot of dumb men, ageist men, will filter you out without really giving it a second thought. Wow. Um, but this way you can prevent yourself from getting filtered out. And what I do is I always tell the truth. I don't always tell the truth. If I think on the first date that I'm going to want to see the guy it just, again. It sounds like a freaking child. I always tell the truth. No, I don't always tell the truth. Which one is it, Patricia? Which one is it? Do you lie or are you honest? First of all, if we're building a relationship off a foundation of a lie, I'm out. And I do tell him the truth. Um, if I think it's going nowhere, then there's no point because there won't be a second date. But when I have told the truth, wow. you'd be shocked at the number of men who really don't care and um, still beat your actually like appreciate that that you did that because uh, otherwise they wouldn't have seen you on the dating app and so i 100 percent always get a second date then you don't have to worry about it ever again and when they 100 percent always get a second date but ain't got a man Shots fired! Huh? Shots fired! what you're still single you got a second date so he, be he blew your back out second date and they never called you again bro stop a flight for you you know, they know your birthday. But to the men watching this, do you care if a woman lies about her age by a year or two? Yes. And she tells you the truth on the first date? I want to hear your thoughts. No, I, I don't like liars. I don't like liars. Call me crazy. I don't like liars. I really don't. That's why I always keep it a thou. I'll keep it a buck. I'll keep it real with you guys. So the acronym I was talking about. What What is a king? I don't know. Wait, I... I call you guys kings a lot in the in the comments and stuff like that I say preach it king do this king so i was like i really need to come up with something that embodies what a king is a king is keen impervious noble and groomed keen is like you're smart you're witty you're intellectual impervious which means you're you're immovable by outside forces which like you're just steadfast you're stoic in your own ways nobles and you hold yourself with elegance you're elegant you know what I mean? And then groomed, you take care of yourself. You're not a slob. You go to the gym. You look good, right? Let me know what you guys think about that. Now let's go to queen. Uh, a queen, I can't, what was the first one? It was, I think it was quaint. Quaint, which is like charming, old fashioned, right? And then you have uplifting, because I think a good woman needs to uplift a man. And the next one would be elegant, because I want a woman who looks good, takes care of herself. When I think elegance, I think she can dress well. She looks good. She takes care of her body. I want somebody that's empathetic because if she's going to raise my children, I want her to be empathetic and understand other people's problems and understand the hardships other people have went through. And therefore, she's, she's got a strong emotional level where she can, you know, relate and help and help raise children. And then what was the last one? So we got uh, quaint, uplifting, elegant, um, Wow, what was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? I just said it. I just said it. Elegant. Oh, empathetic. And oh, I forgot. But let me know. Let me know what you guys think. What would what would your end be? What would your end be? Because I can't. I'll, I'll be honest. I cannot remember, dude. I'd have to pull out my phone, and I'm using my phone to record. But that's what I mean by what a queen is and what a king is. Right? There's a big difference between what a lot of people think. A queen. A lot of girls think a queen is just a boss babe who's like a diva. Like, no, that's not what we want. We want a woman that has elegance. We want a woman that has certain qualities that we deem as high value, which is like quaint, charming, old-fashioned, 
uplifting, empathetic, elegant. You know what I mean? That's what we're looking for. I can't remember in. Let me know in the comments. What would you add as in? Let me know. What would you add as in? Let me know in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Join the Discord for offline chats. Hope you guys really enjoyed this. We just hit 18,000 subs. I really do appreciate you guys, man. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.